This event is held in Kiningi, at the foothills of the Volcano National Park. This year's Quitazina was a celebration of conservation and the return of tourism. Quitazina is an important tradition that takes place annually in Rwanda. It is a baby naming ceremony for baby gorillas born in the last 12 months in the park. I'm very proud today to give a gorilla baby a new name. In the last 17 years, 372 gorillas have been named. Honestly guys, this is the most exciting day ever. I am here live in the middle of Quitizina. This is the baby naming ceremony for the mountain gorillas and I can't wait. Guys, so much is happening. It's gonna be amazing. Do not go anywhere. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment right now because it's gonna be lit. This was a big deal for Rwandans. Quitazina is a big celebration where locals gather from as early as 7 a.m. Dignitaries come together also to celebrate the birth of these baby gorillas. It really was a big deal, which included performances from big local Rwandan artists like King James and more. The theme for the event was green, as green represents nature. So all the dignitaries were dressed the same in Rwandan regalia, and so was I in my traditional Rwandan dress. There were some big celebrities that attended the event and well-known dignitaries. Some of the names have been involved in wildlife for over six to seven years. The First Lady of Rwanda was there, the General Secretary for all the Francophone countries, Madame Louise, Drogba, football legend, His Excellency, the Prince of Wales, attended virtually, Uzo Agba, Dr. Evan Atten, Kenyan Salty Soul, Gilberto Silva, just to name a few. Creative Director, Motion. Currently behind me is the naming, it's ongoing. There are 20 gorillas that are about to be named, we're in like number five so far. And I'm loving the names that they are giving them, real meaningful, powerful names. Let's watch. King Charles III named his baby gorilla with the definition of harmony. There were many names, like liberation, protector, integrity, sacrifice, hospitality, admirable, offspring, sanctuary, resilient, good doctor, values, and more. These names were to talk about the unwavering protection from the Rwandan community for the gorillas. I honor to name a gorilla at this year Kuita Kisina ceremony. The baby I will be naming is a second baby gorilla born on the 13th December 2021 from the Noheli family to his mother, Umwe. The name I will hear is Ikuso. Some names were chosen to represent the joyful and entertaining nature of the gorillas. Other names were chosen to highlight the resilience of the Rwandan people and the protection of the country's biodiversity. 
and other names were chosen to recognize the admirable and noble nature of the mountain gorillas. This was just an amazing experience to witness. It was beautiful to find out that the first lady named the first ever twin baby gorillas and one is now a proud silverback whilst the other is a mother of two. In 2018, the gorillas moved from critically endangered to endangered and through the conservation scheme and the commitment of the people in Rwanda, the gorillas have moved from the brink of extinction to being so many in number that soon they will no longer be on the endangered list. fashion gurus. Doesn't he look amazing, Mr. Moses? Oh, oh, oh. Listen, you named a very beautiful gorilla. How's it feel? Feels super great. That feels like a whole fresh new parent. You know? yes. I feel like that's my first born, so oh. the excitement is real. Honestly, and I yes. mean, you're doing some amazing fashion as well. Thank so you want to say well done for what you're doing for Rwanda. Thank you. And so honestly, I'm hoping that one day yes. I'm going to get starred by him too. Tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, guys, so we're the very, very important lady, the head of tourism for RDB. Honestly, we are so, so happy. She is a beautiful lady. I mean, Rwanda lady. She is the beautiful lady that gave me the opportunity to come all the way to Rwanda from Ghana and I mean please tell me what oh, she understands, she understands, we love it, we love it, we love it. So I mean we are loving Rwanda, loving the beauty of the country and how you guys are all about conservation. What is one thing that you want everybody in the world to know about why they should visit Rwanda? So visit Rwanda because we are open, uh, it's a beautiful place, we are friendly. Uh, A revenue sharing scheme, Rwanda government have been able to put 10% into the tourism of the country. And this has helped create health centers, homes for more people and modern markets in the local area and the country. So far, $2 billion has been invested from this initiative. Okay, so it's lunchtime and we're at the famous Diane Fossey and Ellen DeGeneres campus. Now this is a big place because obviously you know Ellen DeGeneres all the way from the States. Her and her wife have created this beautiful place for us to, you know, conserve the animals, well mainly the gorillas, and we're going to learn more about them. So let's go. This is such an exciting day, guys, an opportunity not everybody gets. The atmosphere at Kutazina was second to none. Even seeing this huge gorilla sculpture that had been made out of bamboo and straw, finding out that it was made by artisans in the community was just mind-blowing. Rwanda has done so well to bypass their history and come together as a collective and make it their responsibility to sustain the beauty, nature and safety of their country. So 
as we are about to eat, you know, we are ending the beautiful ceremony with a view. Like, we are in the middle of all of the mountains, guys. This is just amazing. I'm literally like, in awe of God for the opportunity, for where we are. And I'm telling you, this also is a very, very special center. Not everybody gets access to be able to come here. So it's like, let's just go and eat and enjoy the moment. Rwanda has accomplished so much in 28 years, and I'm so excited to see what the next 28 years has in store for them. Rwanda Kwitizina 2023 should be in your calendar. This is definitely an event that should not be missed. Make sure you visit Rwanda.